I like to start off with my eyebrows because I feel like they take the longest. So I just like to brush them out, make them look, you know, somewhat decent. And then I just like to go on with my pencil and just, I don't like to draw a little, like, too much because then I like to blend it out with the brush. But just do something like that. And then I come back with my brush and I just blend everything out like that. And then I'm just gonna do the other eyebrow. Okay, so now that I have my brows on, I'm gonna just conceal them. And what I like to do to conceal my eyebrows is I like to take like my foundation, but not like the foundation I use, like maybe like a foundation that's like either a shade above me or two shades above me. I like to take the this Milani um, Conceal and Perfect, and I like to take that under my brow, and then I take this Fit Me foundation, and I put it on the top. So first, I'm going to just take a little bit of that and just put it on my hand. And this is the, this is the foundation that's going to go underneath my eyebrow. So I just take a little bit on a brush, and I just carve out the bottom. See, like that. And then I take this little like fluffy brush and I just blend it out at the bottom because some people don't like that look of having like a light under brow but I like it I think it's cute looks good to me and then I just do the other eyebrow After we do the bottom, I like to go in with, like I said, the foundation. And I just like to take a little bit and then just put it on the top and carve the top out. And I just feel like that, like, I don't know, having the two different colors plus the foundation color, like, it just makes it look more fluid, like, rather than, like, having super bright under your brow and like the carving on the top of your brow instead of having it like really really bright i like to have the bright under your brow and then more natural on the top even though at the end of the day i don't be looking natural but you know that's a story for another day period pool because y'all know these is cute eyebrows i'm not gonna lie my eyebrows is cute I think like that's my favorite part of doing my makeup is my eyebrows. My eyebrows be looking so cute, like, duh. So after I do my eyebrows, I like to go in and do my eyeshadow if I do do eyeshadow that day. And today I want to do eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna go straight into that. So I'm just gonna take the remainder of the light foundation that I used underneath my eyebrow, and I'm gonna put it on my eyelid to basically like prime my eyelid, cause extra anyway so just use it instead of getting an eye primer so just put that all over the lid and blend it out because we look crazy <laughs> but blend it out make sure you get everything and I'm just gonna set that with a brush no actually I'm gonna use beauty blender I'm just gonna take that and and honestly this doesn't have to be wet I use it dry I can use it wet it doesn't matter but when I do my face my beauty blender has to be wet So I'm just going to take like a brown shade and put that like above my crease and just blend that in. And I like to like kind of wing it out right here because when I do my um, eyeliner, I like it to go long. So when I do this a little bit, I don't know, it just gives that like really feline effect I really like that so yeah we're just gonna do that and do it to both eyes
So after we go in with that first like transition brown, we're gonna go into a deeper brown and put it into our crease this time. Cause the first time we went above our crease, now we're gonna go in our crease. And I like to take this like small little, it looks big, it's really not. I don't know why it looks like that, but it's really small. And we're just gonna take a little deeper shade and put that in here. looks cute I'm sorry I look cute so do it to the other eye see this is cute so after we take that I'm gonna take another brown cuz I like this color. I like to take this Juvia's Place palette and I like to take this color right here because this color is so cute on me like I just love that color so I just have to use it every time I do my makeup like I don't care what I'm doing I'm gonna use this color so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and then just kind of like blend everything out period pool so after I do that I like to like I don't want to say like carve it out like a cut crease but i like to um just clean it up basically so i'm gonna take so i'm just gonna take a flat brush and i'm gonna use the same foundation that i used under my brow to like clean it up and i forgot who told me this but somebody told me to like put the like foundation or the concealer right next to your eyelid and then like look up i mean it kind of works like not really but like that's not really what i wanted <laughs> why do i listen to people so i'm just gonna fix that because that's not what i wanted like that this is cute okay and then after i do that i also like to set this to well not set it but i'm gonna put a eyeshadow over it i'm gonna take this actually i'm gonna take this palette and i'm gonna put like a white color on it it's called lynn if y'all have the palette y'all know actually looking really cute I think I might have just did something so now that we did that we're gonna do that to the other side because they don't look the same so let's fix that I mean they probably still won't look the same after but you know are y'all really looking that close in my face So now I'm gonna go and put eyeshadow on this eye, the same way I did this one. Okay, so now that our eyes kind of match, I'm gonna do my eyeliner and my lashes. I mean, I can show you how I do my eyeliner. It's not that like amazing though. Like I haven't done eyeliner in a long time, so. You know but um before i do eyeliner i like to put mascara on because i don't know i feel like it helps with doing my eyelashes eyebrow eyeliner am i the only one that makes those ugly faces i know i can't be because i'm trying not to though because i know that they're ugly so i'm trying not to make those faces but it just helps. <laughs> so now that we don't look cross-eyed anymore, I'm gonna do my um my eyeliner. Whew. It makes me nervous. I don't be breathing when I be doing this, y'all. I just be like trying to focus. And every time I do it, it still doesn't come out right. 
the freak so first i like to like i like to look and then i like to draw the line and then i draw the line on the other side and then i just come back and connect everything because if i don't do that it'd be looking wonky and uneven so i draw my line and i go draw my other one and try to make them as even as i could get them to come back and connect it okay so now that we're back with our lashes on our um eyeliner on i'm gonna show you how to do my face and then my under eyes and we'll be done with some little lip gloss oh my god we're gonna be so cute i'm gonna be so cute y'all so after i do that i come in with my foundation give it a little shake shake and I like to just pour it on my brush. So, do that. And I just dab it on. And y'all know I'm like, you know, really fair skinned. So, I be looking to, you know, take a foundation that's just a little bit dark. But, like, y'all, yeah, I'm so, like, pale. It's not even a joke. Like, I do not like being this pale. It's not cute at all. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more from my forehead. So after we come through with the foundation, I'm gonna take, I'm always dropping something. So then I'm gonna come in with this concealer and I'm gonna just put some under my eye because we don't sleep at night over here. And I like to let that just like sit for a hot minute. While I let it sit, I'm gonna be back. I don't even know where my Hmm. I gotta find my brush or my my sponge. My sponge. I have to find my sponge. So while I let this sit, I'm gonna go find my sponge and I'm gonna go wet it and I'll be back. So now that I'm back with my sponge, I'm just gonna blend everything in after I let it sit for a little bit. So. So now I'm just gonna go in with a darker concealer and like, I don't really be contouring like that, but today I'll do that. Just to be special, but I really don't do that on a regular basis. I just be bronzing. So I'm just gonna take Warm Honey from the Pro, the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just gonna put a little bit of here and here. And I like to put it above my cheekbones, like the hollows of my cheekbones because I already have like really like chiseled jawline and stuff, but I want it to be even higher. So put a little bit right here and at the bottom of my nosy nose. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take this brush. It's by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna, you know, dab that in here. And dab it in on the forehead. This is cute, I'm not gonna lie, this is cute. So after all of that, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna set my under eye. So to set my under eye, I like to take the Maybelline Fit Me 
um, finishing powder to shake it. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna take that with my wet sponge. Oh my God, we're looking so cute. So after I do that, I'm gonna go and set my contour. <laughs> I'm gonna take this powder by Becca. I don't even know what it's called, y'all. It's called beige. And I think it's just like um a face powder. It's called a perfecting powder. But I'm just gonna take that on another puffy brush and just pat that in. Some, put a little bit on my nose and really I don't be doing this like perfect because I go back in and I put like highlighter on it so yeah it doesn't really matter how I do it So now I'm gonna go in with an actual bronzer. Hmm, I don't know which bronzer I should use. Okay, change of plans. I'm not using like a bronzer bronzer. I'm just gonna use this um this eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this one. And it kind of like it looks so pretty, y'all. It's so cute. It's like an orangey kind of brown, and it's like it, I feel like it looks like I have blush on and I'm like I'm blushing when I wear it and I'm like cute so yeah I'm just gonna take a little bit of that because it's super 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 pigmented so I'm just gonna dab that on the top look at how cute makes me look so cute but I only put this like on my cheeks because like like I said, it makes me look like I'm blushing, so why would I put that anywhere else? I don't blush anywhere on my cheeks and my nose. Y'all. This is cute. This is super cute, and we're not even done yet. Like, this is not even finished. We're almost done. So, after I put a little bit of that on, I like to go in with some blush. And I like to like mix my NARS orgasm and this Tarte party with like the four A's. I like to mix them because this one has like sparkles in it. So I just go in with the two and just So now I'm gonna go into and do like my under eye. I'm gonna take this Stila like liquid shadow and I like to just put that on with like a brush and I like to put it under my eyes because I think it's so cute. So yeah, just gonna put a little bit right there, and right there, and right here, and right here. And then it looks pink. It actually like, it's like pink with like blue reflectant in it. It's really cute. But when I blend it out and it's not like so hard, it looks like silvery. It's really cute. I really like it. Cute. Cute. Ew. Okay. Now I'm gonna um I'm gonna put a little bit of white eyeliner in my waterline because it just makes everything pop and I feel like it makes me look like a bride doll sometimes, so I really like that. And 
then I'm gonna just put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And now for our final, well, second to last step, I'm going to put on some highlighter. Now, I really don't use like highlighter anymore because I feel like it just looks, I don't know. I just don't like it anymore. It's not that cute. I like to use this like, this pigment. It's like, um, it's like a loose pigment and it's the color silver or white. It just looks so pretty. Like when I put it on. So that's what I'd be like. I use that now, like instead of highlighter, I just use this and I just take my brush, just dip a little because it be doing a lot. And I just like to put it like here. And then do the other side. And this is also what I put on like my nose so I don't like, so I don't have to contour my nose really. So I just take a little bit of that and I put it on this like really small brush like this. And just take a little, put it right here and put it right here. Like a little bit of an exclamation point. super cute so then I'm gonna take some and put it just here I like to just you know I told y'all I be looking older like I look way older And then I like to put it, this is like a new thing I'll be doing. I like to put it all over my cupid's bow. Because I just feel like it looks so much cuter. And what is this? The second time I drop something? So after I do that, I like to take this brush. Because I don't actually have a lip liner that I like. So I just be using like um, eyeshadow. So I take this palette and I take this light color right here and I just be taking this on a brush and just like I just outline my lips. make me blush lipstick and I just like to put that right here take this lip gloss in the center and then lastly I take my little beauty supply store lip gloss and I just put that all over everything. Oh my god, it looks so cute. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.